The Steam Client Bootstrapper is an essential component of the Steam Client. The Steam Client is the software front end for the Steam Online Game Store. So if you're seeing a process called Steam Client Bootstrapper and you're worried that it might be malicious, stick around for more details. The word bootstrapper comes from the phrase putting yourself up by your own bootstraps. This is also the origin for the word boot as it relates to starting up your computer. Basically, a bootstrapper prepares a more complex process to run. It checks the requirements, ensures all dependencies are in place, and then hands processing over to the main software once everything's ready. The Steam Client Bootstrapper does this for games and other software that run through the Steam Client. It's essentially the client's main executable, making sure Steam itself stays updated, loads correctly, and generally juggles its many different jobs. If you forcibly end the bootstrapper, Steam itself will close. Although the Steam Client Bootstrapper isn't a malicious piece of software, that doesn't mean things always go smoothly. One of the most common complaints about the software is that it uses too many resources in the background. In other words, it's eating up CPU time or network bandwidth while you're trying to do something else on your computer. That's normal since Steam has to update games and itself, decompress the files it downloads, and generally keep your library in good shape for your next play session. What's not so great is when Steam eats up those resources when you're trying to do something like editing a video or browsing the web. Depending on your specs, that can have quite an impact on your computer's responsiveness. Steam usually does a pretty good job of scheduling game updates at times when your computer is idle, and also tends to play nice when it comes to sharing bandwidth. But did you know you can take control of how Steam handles bandwidth and scheduling? Under Steam, Settings, Downloads, you'll find these options. Here you can set strict limits to the times that updates can take place. You can also set how much bandwidth the client may use. This way you can ensure that your CPU and RAM are not used up by Steam when you're using the computer. It can also help in limited bandwidth situations where Steam is affecting applications like Netflix or YouTube. Other occasional problems with a Steam Client Bootstrapper include Steam becoming unresponsive or crashing. There are a few things you should try if the Steam Client Bootstrapper has issues. First, just restart your computer. In my experience, some Steam hiccups go away after a reboot. Redownload and reinstall the Steam Client. Make sure Windows and your graphics drivers are updated. Try using System Restore to roll back the computer to the last time Steam was working correctly. You should also run an error check on the drive that hosts the Steam Client, just to make sure that a faulty disk isn't behind the program misbehaving. If you're taking part in the Steam Beta Client program, Disable it and go back to the normal stable version of Steam to see if that makes a difference. Under Settings, Downloads, you can select Clear Download Cache to get rid of temporary files as well. If there's something wrong with these files, it can cause trouble in the client when it tries to download or install applications. Check to see whether your computer is displaying the correct time and date. Steam apparently relies on the date and time for many of its functions, so this has helped a number of people who were out of ideas to get their games running again. If these tips didn't do the trick, you can always turn to the Steam community pages. You might find someone with your exact problem and, hopefully, a ready solution. Alternatively, you can post your issue there and have the collective Steam Community Brain Trust help you come to the right solution. See you next time.